is uh, now busy working to uh, restow some items after uh, uh, removing and replacing a uh, replacing the uh, activated carbon ion exchange filter. This is a replay video from earlier this morning of her uh, performing that work. Again, this is to replace the activated carbon ion exchange filter that is in the oxygen generator system. It's part of the potable water dispenser beverage adapter. Piece off of the filter here and then go to the back side, take the old piece off and have the new filter ready to go and put the new filter on on the back side and then just come back to the front side to hook it back up. The steps are broken up into 4.8 and 4.9, but I think you can sort of combine them to make that quick if you're worried about time and uh, making sure that the system is closed is, is, um, or open for just as short as possible. That's really good data. That makes sense to our guys on the ground. And just while we're talking quick debrief things, I think the uh, cutting the hole in the water bag um, is is a is a tough idea. I think probably an easy way to fill up that syringe three times is have the water bag with a straw and open up the straw and let it form a big bubble and suck it in with the syringe, and that way you have a nice lock so water isn't sort of going everywhere. Just a, another suggestion about how to maybe clean up the procedure a little bit. Another good input. We thank you for it. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, we're watching a video replay for, that was uh, downlinked from earlier this morning. Commander Sonny Williams, who had been uh, working to replace the activated carbon ion exchange filter in the uh, oxygen generator system, forming just maintenance on the uh, potable water dispenser beverage adapter. The morning session is complete. We'll talk to you again this afternoon. Thanks. Copy and thank you. Williams is currently for Sunny at your convenience. We have another feedback question for you. Now working to restow the uh, activated carbon ion exchange filter that she had removed and replaced. Earlier this morning, again, we're looking at video that was uh, downlink from this morning's work to remove and replace that filter in the oxygen generator system. Go ahead, Lucia. Sunny, we're wondering, when you were using the syringe to take the sample, did you feel any back pressure on the syringe? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because I was I had my hand there waiting for the first one, the 10 cc, and uh, I actually had to give it a little bit of a pull. But after that, um, I think it just started it. And after that, there definitely was back pressure for the rest of that 10 and for each of the subsequent 30s. So uh, there's, there was definitely back pressure. Thanks. We appreciate it. This is Mission Control Houston again. We are getting a video replay that was downlink from earlier this morning. Commander Sonny Williams just I was just in view of this uh, video, had been uh, working to remove and replace the activated carbon ion exchange filter that is in the oxygen generator system on the uh, potable water dispenser. that uh, filter deiodinates 
the water and the uh, oxygen generator system with electricity uses uh, water to produce oxygen and hydrogen aboard the International Space Station. Again, uh, this is video replay that was uh, downlink from earlier this morning's work. Williams now aboard the International Space Station is working to restow the uh, filter that was removed and replaced. Meanwhile, uh, Aki Hoshide is uh, working to prepack items that will be returned to Earth aboard the Dragon spacecraft that is slated to arrive at the station later this month. And on the Russian side of the house, Malenchenko is uh, performing some regular preventative maintenance to the service module's ventilation system.